there welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mufaro Mazodze and I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video today I'm talking about how to save money I have always been very very passionate about the commerce um, field and I studied accounting however that does not mean that I am qualified to give anyone financial advice and that this is just a conversation that I want to have with you guys and you're welcome to disagree with me in the comment section and um, I would love to hear your thoughts so feel free to engage with me in the comment section and let me know where you don't agree with any of the points I might make in this video before i go into my video i must say that this is a very very sensitive topic especially in south africa um in the black community where um there are people who unfortunately cannot save money and this conversation or my tips are rather for anyone who is interested in saving money i don't want to imply um that everyone should save money because I think that would be insensitive of me to do so but however I do have tips that I'm willing to share and just a bit of um, insight from my understanding of money and yeah so let's get into it though this is a very very tough conversation to have just to illustrate the point I'm trying to make I'm sure we've all watched the infamous or the famous I blew it that show about people that won millions from the lottery but unfortunately they don't have a cent of it to show they have nothing they blew an entire eight million rands now eight million rands it's a lot of money however the fact that someone can finish all this money in two years can tell you that it's actually not a lot of money now first of all what is money money is a commodity it can be defined in many ways but basically you can use money to buy your goods and services and i think money is it's a very personal thing if you think about it because this money that you earn or maybe that you get as pocket money gives you access to your needs and your wants so when we don't have money we tend to get stressed we can tend to get very frustrated we tend to be put under pressure because this thing this physical thing this paper um has a huge impact in how your life ends up and how your day looks and how um how you live and how your life looks like so if you don't understand it and if you don't know how to save it if you don't know how to um, to spend it wisely it can lead you into a lot of depression a lot of stress uncomfortable situations etc 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 before i get into my tips on how to save money i think it is important that we first discuss why do you actually need to save money and i think i will give some examples let's say you um have insured your car today and before the month end your car um, is stolen now not every insurer is going to actually replace your car depending on the terms and conditions of your insurance you might actually be in a very unfavorable position and let's say your car is damaged and you need 5,000 rand to fix it. And then the insurer tells you, okay, you've only been insured with us for less than a month. Unfortunately, we can only cover, let's say, 1,000 rand. So now you're in a position where you need 4,000 rand. Now, you also have not been saving money. So you don't have any savings. Now you have to go broke. Not really broke. Now you have to find, um, let's say, take a loan, ask a friend. Um, and before you even get your next salary, you are now in the negative. So I think that because life is unpredictable, it is a good idea to have savings if you are able to. And there are many of these situations that can occur. Maybe somebody um, decided to have a wedding and you need money to go to this wedding. You need new clothes to attend this wedding. And now um, you don't even have any, you know, savings or any way to go to in order to go to maybe this is your friend's wedding or maybe this is you know because sometimes things happen last minute and 
it's it's a lot of things there are a lot of scenarios that i can bring up whereby having savings would actually come to your advantage and it would save the day so tip number one and i think this this is why this topic is difficult to talk about because i i believe when it comes to saving money you also need to take a holistic approach now one of the reasons why people can't save money is that people live beyond their means so that would be tip number one on how to save money learn to live within your means okay and it it takes a lot of maturity it takes a lot of discipline to say okay i can't afford the latest nike sneakers let me wait until i can afford them it takes a lot of um discipline to say i can't afford to eat out every weekend or let me say no to this um get together that people are planning because i did not budget for it and it takes a lot of discipline it's discipline 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 and if you want to always follow what people are doing you always want to live like how your friends are living how your peers are living you're always going to fall short because you're living with outside your means sometimes you can afford it and let's say you earning 15,000 rand a month and every month you have allocated this 15,000 rand you use all of it that's well and good but is it smart is it wise can you eventually say if you want to now start a business what happens should you lose your job how will you live and this is something that has been happening you know we've had the pandemic recently and people have lost their jobs um very very difficult people have had to take pay cuts salary cuts people have had to adjust their standard of living and if you don't plan for rainy days it's gonna be very very tricky to navigate this life and just to to elaborate more on living within your means let's not always say yolo and um you only live once you know they we always justify our bad decisions and i'll even say myself i'll even include myself i'll be like oh i woke up every morning and you know i worked for this money i need to spend it and i need to spoil myself yes you need to spoil yourself but going into tip number two on how to save money always have a budget have a budget to spoil yourself so spoiling yourself is good it's good for your mental health and understand life is short we have to enjoy this life however it needs to be budgeted for and everyone can budget no matter how much you earn you can always have a budget um and budgeting is easy it's all about income and expenses you know that you're gonna spend x amount on transport x amount on rent x amount on food and you actually find that if you cut out on your irregular expenditure you could actually save money and irregular expenditure is a very very sensitive topic because sometimes we are sometimes it's due to unhealthy eating habits it can be due to um always like personally speaking we we all we are all raised differently which is why i say like saving money it's not necessarily something that a, a smart person can do it's not necessarily something that an educated person can do it's money is a very very personal thing and if you are always going to be moved by worldly things and things like oh i have to where um, i have to have new clothes every single month because every single month there's new fashion things coming in there's new shoes coming in there's new this coming in you're going to never save money and it is going to come to a point where if you need money you have nothing to fall back on coming to tip number three on how to save money if you are willing to take this let's save money type of journey then i think that in your mind let's say you earn i don't know twelve thousand rand a month maybe put it in your mind that i only have ten thousand rand to spend and the two thousand rand is being saved no 
you know nothing else there's no i need to do this there's no i need that there's no there's a new dress that came out just put it in your mind that i'm going to save ten thousand rand i'm going to spend ten thousand rand sorry and i think um my tip number three is that if you have to open another bank account it would be smart or if your bank allows you to open another account like a savings account like i do with fnb then um you can put your money in your savings account then your money is not within reach you know it's you don't have easy access to it and there are even some um deposit accounts where you can't access your savings unless you give a bank like a 30-day notification so such you need to look at such um types of accounts that you can apply for and that will help you to save money because saving money like i said it's not about being um a finance graduate it's not about being um rich it's not about being poor it's really all about discipline and whether you want to because let's look at it most people can't afford all the things they need on their salary for instance maybe i really really want to go to bali indonesia one day but i can't do that on my one month salary so what i can do is that let's say every month i say i'm going to save two thousand rand honey by the end of the year you're going to have twenty four thousand rand and let's be honest a year is a long time but by the time by the way that time is flying mm -mm. A year is really not that long so it's all about discipline because at the end of the year you have twenty four thousand rand and now you can now afford that bali trip just like that so saving money has benefits you can even put deposit on a house a car and now you don't need to pay back a lot of money in interest because you've paid off um a, a significant amount of whatever you wanted to buy be it a car a house etc so saving money is it's a personal thing guys it's a very very personal thing it is all about your will too and in this video i hope i did not offend anyone my point is just to encourage us to make smart financial decisions so i hope you enjoyed my video and i'd love to hear your thoughts even if you disagree with me i'd love to engage with you in the comment section and make sure you have subscribed you have liked and you share this video if you found it useful i love you for watching always bye